hello students today i'm going to start a new topic from permutation combinations title of the topic is binomial theorem so i want to explain the meaning of binomial theorem first of all you should know the meaning of binomial binomial so an algebraic expression containing two terms is called a binomial x plus 1 by x is a binomial 2x plus x square is a binomial okay x cube y plus 1 by y is a binomial these all are binomials in algebra so what is the here theorem binomial theorem binomial theorem what I, that says i will i want to explain that. binomial binomial theorem okay do one thing students a plus b is a binomial okay a plus b is given for example your exponent is 1 what is it is equal to just a plus b only i am trying to explain what is the meaning of binomial theorem so a plus b power 2 is taken this is nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square for example, a plus b cube is given. You know how to expand it. a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. If a plus b power 4 is given, how to write, expand it. a plus b whole power 5 is given, how to expand. So on, a plus b whole power n is given, how to expand. In case 1, n is a natural number. How to expand says binomial theorem. So what binomial theorem is saying that expansion of a plus b whole power n. How to expand this says binomial theorem. What is the theorem? How to prove that we will discuss later. Nana. First of all, a plus b whole power 1 means easily you can say that a plus b only. a plus b whole square means you can say that a square plus a b plus b square only. a plus b cube okay, but a plus b 4 are not difficult for us. Without using any theorem, how can you find a plus b should be multiplied by repeatedly four times or a plus b into a plus b cube or a plus b into a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus cube. After multiplying, you will get this. Okay. So, but by using binomial theorem, directly you can write the solution. Directly you can write the, what is the expansion of a plus b whole power 4. That's why what binomial theorem is saying that how to expand a binomial binomial with the uh, exponent as a natural number or exponent as negative integer or exponent as a rational number. Three cases. Done. Case 1, n is a natural number. Case 2, n is a integer. Case 3, n is a rational number. So in all these cases, we will learn how to expand a plus b whole power n means if a plus b whole power minus 2 given how to expand a plus b whole power 3 by 2 given how to expand the says binomial theorem okay then. so binomial theorem importance is how to expand a plus b whole power n where n is a natural number in case 1 n is a integer in case 2 n is a rational number in case 3 in all these three cases we can expand a plus b whole power n with the help of binomial theorem okay but in ancient days in ancient days how they are expanded i want to explain observation observation is important here observation a plus b whole power 1 1 exponent is 1 we have two terms a plus b whole power 2 exponent is 2 so observe 3 times so a plus b whole power 3 exponent is 3 here 4 times so a plus b whole power 4 4 obviously there should be 5 times that 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 we can say that we can say something plus something plus something plus something 1 2 3 5 times we can say 5 times what are the 5 times we don't know okay so a plus b whole power 5 containing 6 terms Six terms. I can say six terms. What are those six terms? I can't say now. Observe one more important observation. A plus b whole power one equal to a plus b. A plus b whole square equal to a square b square 
in middle 2ab. So what happened? a square plus b square 2ab. 1a square 2ab 1b square. Students listen. A square after a. Means the power of a is decreasing. A square after a. A after a power 0 here actually. Here b power 0 after b power 1, b power 2. So what is the exponent on here? 2. So highest power of a is 2, highest power of b also 2. This is a polynomial in a and b with degree 2. So observe a plus b cube given. a plus b cube given. So what happened? 1a cube first. 1a cube. After something into a square. a square. a is decreasing degree and b is increasing. a square into b. I can say a square into b. After that a square into b. a square becomes a. Into b becomes b square. After that a becomes a power 0. b square becomes b cube. Like that what I can say. Directly what I can say here. a power 4 will be. Wait a minute. 1 minute. a power 4 will be. But. 1 a power 4 that we can say directly what what is this i can't say now in this stage something some th coefficient wait one minute so with some coefficient uh, into what i can say a cube b plus with some coefficient to a square b square plus with some coefficient to a b cube plus 1 b power 4 this is the expansion of a plus b whole power 4 but what is important thing nana what is this what are the values of this in this stage i don't know extremities here one here one i can say a power 4 b power 4 i can say similarly a plus b whole power 5 given i know you will get six terms what are those six terms partially i can write one is a power 5 surely something into a power 4 into b plus something into a cube into b square plus something into a square into b cube plus something into a b power 4 plus b power 5 so in this way i can say partially means i don't know what are the coefficient values year 1 year 1 okay i don't know what is this 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 okay so th that is one thing one more uh, important observation each term having degree 1 in this expansion right hand side in right hand side each term having second degree observe second degree so right hand side each term having third degree so here also a plus b whole power 5 each term will have degree 5 fifth degree fifth degree fifth degree fifth degree fifth degree fifth degree so what happened here year 1 year 3 year 3 year 1 here i know the coefficients but here i don't know the coefficient actually they are called binomial coefficients they are called binomial coefficient this one three three one are called binomial coefficient one two one are called binomial coefficient one one are called binomial coefficient what are the binomial coefficient here i can't so with the help of binomial theorem i can write before a binomial theorem without using binomial theorem indian mathematician pingala are Another words you can say that uh, uh, by using Pascal, by using Pascal triangle, actually the credit goes to Pascal, but uh, before the Pascal, Indian mathematician uh, Pingala uh, in his book Meru Prastara, Meru Prastara means permutations, combinations concept, in that he uh, given everything about uh, uh, Pascal triangle. What is Pascal triangle? I will explain Nana first of all, okay, with the help of Pascal triangle. So what I'm saying, Pascal triangle actually in uh, that uh, uh, triangle is invented by uh, our Indian mathematician uh, uh, Pingala before Pascal. But in uh, all the books are given that uh, the credit uh, credit given to the uh, Pascal. That's why I am also uh, saying that that is the Pascal triangle. With the help of Pascal triangle, you can find the binomial coefficients. I will show you how to uh, find the uh, binomial coefficients uh, with the help of Pascal triangle. What is the Pascal triangle? I will I will explain students. So take one number first. Take another two. One one. Just like. Okay. Now add this one and one. Two will get. And take two ones. Extremities always ones and ones. So add these two. Here we will get three. Here we will get three. And again extremities right one with some gap and add these two and add these two and add these two so here four six four again you write end points starting and ending with one and one so this triangle is called pascal triangle this triangle is called pascal triangle see actually this is you can call as uh, pingla's triangle actually okay Ranana. so listen so next 
add this to 5 add this to 10 add this to what happened 10 add this to what happened 5 and extremities 1 and 1 in this way can expand this is called Pascal triangle or Pingla triangle what is use what is the use so by using this only you can find the binomial coefficient I will show you students first of all a plus b whole power 0 means 1 a plus b whole power 1 means I can say a plus b a plus b whole square means what I can say a, pl a square plus 2ab plus b square a plus b cube whole cube what I can say a square plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube ok students what is a plus b whole power 4 without binomial coefficient what I can say 1 a power 4 plus something a cube b plus something a square b square plus something a b cube plus uh, what I want writing down and uh, space one sufficient for me I will write here that is 1 into b power 4 what the some things with the help of this triangle you can find those some things those some things actually called binomial coefficients we can find the binomial coefficients see here 1 this one 1 1 these are the one ones ok students so obviously here 1 2 1 see here 1 2 1 these are the one. here what happened 1 3 3 1 1 3 3 1 so what what happened to this no I can say here what I can say here 1 here 4 here 6 here 4 here 1 ok so what I can say sorry for example we want to expand a plus b whole power 5 nana so this fifth degree what you can say a power 5 plus something into a power 4 b yeah plus something into a cube uh, uh, yeah b square plus something into a square b cube uh, plus something into a into b power 4 plus b power 5 okay so what are the something here here these are the something 1 5 10 another 10 5 1 okay so in this way you will get a, a, a plus b whole power 5 so with the help of uh, this Pingla's triangle or uh, uh, Pascal triangle you can find the binomial coefficients ok students so interesting thing is difficulty is here what is the demerit of uh, this method is for example a plus b whole power 10 you want 10 you want so what I can say a power 10 plus something into a power 9 into b plus something into a power 8 into b square plus so on plus b power 10 I can say there will be 11 terms 11 terms but what are the binomial coefficients extremities are here 1 here 1 that is ok but what are the remaining I can't how can find if you know the a plus b whole power 9 coefficient then I can write here with help of this only we got this no? 1 plus 4 added 5 4 plus 6 added 10 6 plus 4 added 10 4 plus 1 added 5 and extremity is 1 1 so what happened with the help of uh, uh, a plus b whole power 4 coefficients only I got a plus b whole power 5 coefficients ok for example you want to expand a plus b whole power 6 eh? we should know these 1 5 10 5 5 1 then only uh, we can write the coefficients of a plus b whole power 6 that is one of the demerit of this method ok that's why another uh, mathematician Newton uh, given a direct formula to expand the uh, expansion of the form a plus b whole power n without using any Pascal or Penglas triangle directly you can expand a plus b whole power n uh, that method is given by our mathematician Newton ok well, how to expand how the uh, that uh, mathematician derived that I will explain later now so in the by using this method you want to expand a plus b whole power 10 directly I can expand I should know the expansion of a plus b whole power 9 or at least the binomial coefficients of a plus b whole power 9 I want to know the coefficient of a plus b whole power 9 I should know the uh, coefficients of a plus b whole power 8 after that 7 6 like that ok by using this Pascal triangle we can expand a plus b whole power n with some conditions so again I want to write student listen a plus b whole power 0 equal to 1 a plus b whole power 1 equal to a plus b 
a plus b whole power 2 equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square a plus b whole power 3 equal to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube a plus b whole power 4 just now I derived a power 4 plus 4a cube b plus 6a square b square plus 6ab cube uh, sorry 4a cube a cube after 1 b power 4 this is expansion so what are the observations here that is important thing then so this will have one term this expansion will have two terms this expansion will have three terms this expansion will have four terms this expansion will have five terms and each term degree is four here here each term degree is three one more thing is binomial coefficient what i called one four six four one are called binomial coefficient no? year one year one year four year four six year one year one year three year three means what the meaning of that the binomial coefficients are left hand and right hands are all equal so one one four four like that okay but how to expand a plus b whole power five with the help of this i can expand with the help of this i can expand okay a plus uh, directly i can't expand a plus b whole power 10 100 i can't expand okay so by using newton newton's formula you can expand a plus b whole power 10 so what i explain in a pascal triangle with the help of pascal triangle or pingala's triangle okay you can uh, uh, expand a plus b whole power n to some extent with some conditions here uh, pascal triangle is given one of the most interesting number pattern is pascal's triangle named after uh, blaise pascal a famous french mathematician and philosopher so here one 1 1 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 1 4 6 4 1 i clearly explained one after 1 1 so this is just like adding these two okay this uh, 1 and 3 1 and 2 added will get these three this two one one and 2 added will get this three, like that this is called uh, pingala's triangle or pascal triangle okay so here are same thing same thing is given so interesting thing is here here all ones next natural numbers countable numbers countable numbers natural number. one two three four five six here these are called triangular numbers one three six ten fifteen twenty one are called triangular number triangular numbers what the meaning of that one is called triangular number with the help of one dot i can make a triangle with the help of three dots i can make a triangle so the three is called triangular number one is a called triangular number with the help of six, uh, six dots i can make a triangle observe all of you six dots this is called a triangular number with the help of ten dots also i can make a triangle so these numbers are called triangular numbers in number theory okay one three six ten are called triangular numbers so observe students here 1, 3, 6, 10 are the differences are an A, B, C, 3 minus 1, 2, 6 minus 3, 3, 10 minus 6, 4. The differences are an A, B. Yeah, now we can find their nth term, we can find sum of n terms also, that's not a big issue. But every triangular number is of the form n into n plus 1 by 2. You should remember this. Tri every triangular number of the form n into n plus 1 by 2. Observe 1 also, 3 also. Put n equal to 1, what we will get? This number. Put n equal to 2, we will get this number. Put n equal to 3, we will get this number. Okay. So, what I can see, nth, nth term mm, of this uh, progression, 1, 3, 6, 10 is n into n plus 1 by 2 only. So, or another words, I can see every triangular number of form n into n plus 1 by 2. This is about triangle number. Yeah, actual uh, uh, chapter is a binomial theorem. Our target is how to expand x plus y whole power n. How to expand. Actually, if n is a natural number, what I can say x plus y repeatedly multiplied by n times and what is the result? But if n is integer, I can't say like that. If x, uh, x plus y whole power minus 2 given, I can't say like that. Okay, but how to expand it? 
that is case 2 case 1 is any natural number I mean just to, we need to we need to repeatedly multiply x plus y n times na na x plus whole power minus how to expand third one x plus whole power 2 by 3 how to expand okay so that x plus y whole power n expansion will be in three cases first case where n belongs natural number second case n is an integer third case n is a fraction that is rational number so first of all we, i want complete the case one that is when is a natural number how to expand x plus y whole power n what is the formula given by newton okay so listen students yeah <coughs> x plus alpha one into x plus alpha two into x plus alpha three uh, or do one thing i will take one by one i will explain so you know people you people know that how to multiply uh, to algebraic expressions for example alpha one plus uh, x plus alpha one plus x plus alpha two given you know how to multiply x square plus alpha one plus alpha two into x plus alpha one into alpha two only okay similarly for example x plus alpha one into x plus alpha two into x plus alpha three given so you know that this is x cube plus something into x square plus something into x plus something so what is something alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha three only students here what is something directly i can say that alpha one alpha two plus alpha one alpha three plus alpha two alpha three into x square plus alpha one alpha two alpha three Similar students x uh, x plus alpha one into x plus alpha two into x plus alpha three into x plus alpha four given. How to expand? How to uh, write the product? I can say x power four plus something into x cube plus something into x square plus something into x plus something. What should write here? This alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha three plus alpha four. What I can write? Alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha three plus alpha four. But what should write? Na na alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, alpha. Four. From this, you need to select two and you want write their summation. How many ways you can select? One, two, three, four. Four C two can select. Four C two means what? Na na four into three by one into six terms. We will write here six terms. What are those six terms? Means what I can say? I want write here. Shouldn't. Because this is already completed now. What are those six terms I can write here? Alpha one, alpha two, alpha one, alpha three, alpha one, alpha four, alpha two, alpha three, alpha two, alpha four, alpha three, alpha four. See one, two, three, four, five, six. Those six terms will be here. So what are the terms should write here, Nana? So three should taken one at uh, three should taken at a time. From these four, three should taken at a time. So four C three, four C three value four only, four C three four, four terms we will get. What are the four terms I will write? Na alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, alpha one, alpha two, alpha four, alpha two, alpha three, alpha four, alpha one, alpha three, alpha four. These are the four terms, students. I can write these four terms into x plus. What should write here? Taking all at a time, four at a time, four at four C four, four C four value one only. One is what is that? Alpha one into alpha two into alpha three into alpha four. In this way, you can multiply these four brackets. Okay. Listen, students. Yeah, listen. Important. X plus alpha one into x plus alpha two into x plus alpha three into x plus alpha four into x plus alpha five given. Five brackets are given. Five linear um, expressions are given. So I want multiply all directly. What I can say, we will get x power five plus something into x power four plus something into x cube plus something into x square plus something into x plus something. What are the some things directly can say that here? What should write? Na alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha three plus alpha four plus alpha five. I can say s one. I can say s one. Okay, for example, this is feel as a algebraic expression. S one stands for sum of zeros taken one at a time. That should write here. What should write? S two should write. S two sum of the zeros taken two at a time. Actually, five zeros are there. We need to choose two means five C two. Five C two value how much? Ten. Means what happened? Here ten terms we will get. Ten terms. Here ten terms. 
without simplification what will he 10 terms you will get here 10 terms how many terms you will get now here how many terms 5 terms only you know from 5 you need to choose 1 5 c1 5 terms here 10 terms here how many you need to choose 3 3 from alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 alpha 5 we need to choose 3 means 5 c3 5 c3 value again 5 c2 only 10 terms here also 10 terms so I simply I can write s3 s3 means uh, uh, sum of zeros taken 3 at a time so here s4 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 means 5 c4 5 c4 value 5 c1 value same only 5 terms here 5 terms okay here 5 c 5 that is 1 what is that last one alpha 1 into alpha 2 into alpha 5 in this way you can expand these 5 brackets students now interesting thing is listen all of you yeah final x plus alpha 1 into x plus alpha 2 so on into x plus alpha n given n now I want to multiply x power n plus something into x power n minus 1 plus something into x power n minus 2 plus so on plus so on plus something ok what you should write here ok s1 means alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 1 alpha n. how many terms you will get here how many terms that is important how many terms n terms what are they alpha 1 plus 1 alpha n how many how many terms will get here you need to choose two at a time from nc two terms nc two terms here what are they alpha 1 alpha 2 so on like that how many terms that is in part terms terms in pattern nc two terms here man here nc one terms terms so here nc three terms like that at last alpha 1 into alpha 2 so on alpha n okay now important thing important if if listen if alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 equal to alpha 3 equal to so on alpha n equal to some y what happened to the equation 1 i can write uh, 1 means here i will write total 1 total 1 this total 1 what happened to 1 what happened to other is interesting thing observe all of you x plus y into x plus y into x plus y into so on x plus y is equal to students interesting thing is that exponent as it is plus y plus y plus y plus y no all y's will how many y's n c1 y's observe nana n c1 y's okay what i can say n c1 into y into this x power n minus 1 plus here students all are equal alpha 1 alpha 2 plus 1 y into y square y square y square how many times n c2 y squares what i can say n c2 into y square into x power n minus 2 plus directly what i can say n c3 into y cube into x power n minus 3 so on so on plus at last at last what is that nana at last y y y y y power n i can say y power n okay now what i am trying to explain students so now this one can be written as x plus y x plus y n times you know what i can say x plus y whole power n equal to 1 into x power n plus n c 1 into x power n minus 1 into y plus n c 2 into x power n minus 2 into y square plus n c 3 into x power n minus 3 into y cube so on plus y power n so this is the expansion of x plus y whole power n where n is a natural number ok but i want to uh, uh, rewrite it again and uh, final step x plus y whole power n expansion can be remembered as instead of this one i can write nc0 also no problem nc0 when only nc0 into x power n plus nc1 into x power n minus 1 into y plus nc2 into x power n minus 2 into y square so on so on plus uh, 
instead of this one i correct ncn ncn or nc0 both are same but i want to write in order that's why ncn into y power n this is the expansion of x plus y whole power n you can remember like this okay x plus y whole power n means you need to remember like this now observe now what is the important thing exponent is n any natural number obviously right hand side you should get n plus one terms n plus one term one thing another thing is each term degrees n only no and this is constant these are called binomial coefficients they are called binomial coefficients leave it x power n n the degree here n the degree n the degree n the degree one thing next thing is what what is the meaning of that the power of x is decreasing here x power n after x power n minus 1 x power n minus 2 y power is increasing y power 0 y power so on up to y power n this one sorry y power n okay this is important one more thing students listen n this one actually okay see here see here students here 0 here n here 1 n minus 1 into 1 here 2 n minus 2 y power at a stage somewhere we get one term i call that ncr i will write ncr ncr i can write what happened x power n minus r into y power r i can write plus so on so on somewhere i will write one term one of the term will be like this ncr into x power n minus r into y power r see here r here r n minus r so this is called binomial expansion you people should remember this binomial expansion okay students again i want right observe nana so here clearly given but i don't like this i will use x plus y whole power n only x plus y instead of y they took a that is not a big issue x plus y whole power n how to write how to remember first to nc0 into x power n next to nc1 into x power n minus 1 into y plus so on plus n c r into x power n minus r into y power r plus so on plus n c n into y power n in this way you need to remember the student very 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 important actually this is called first term this is called second term so this is called nth term what you call this that is interesting thing zero for first term we are getting zero for second term we are getting one what i can say this is what i can say this r plus one term i can say this r plus one term t r plus one term so the any binomial expansion of the form expressive whole power when r uh, t r plus one term is taken as general term that is called general term general term of this expansion important note general term of x plus y whole power n is t r plus 1 equal not r r plus 1 not r the term no? is equal to what is that n c r into x power n minus r into y power r who should remember very very important with the help of uh, general term only you can solve the problems for example you want a fifth term you want actually in this x what is the fifth term you want t4 plus 1 should write fifth term is t5 no here t5 t4 plus 1 what is that instead of r you write 4 instead of n you write 5 instead of r you write 4 none instead of n n only so nc4 into x power n minus 4 into y, this is y power r sorry this is r r means what i can 4 this is the fifth term of this expansion this expansion the help of this uh, general term you can find any term 10th no? term you want 9th term or 12th term with the help of this only you can that's why this is called general term in general in this expansion that is r plus 1th term r plus 1th term okay so important note 2 i will write here note 2 very very important this one also what is that x plus y whole power n expansion in short notation sigma n c r into x power n minus r into y power r where r is taken from 0 to n just with, with the help of uh, 
general term we can directly can expand we should remember this x plus y whole power n is nothing but sigma uh, n c r into x power n minus y power r where r is from 0 to n substitute all the values the sigma summation then again you will get the same thing ok so important note to completed some input observations are very 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 important everyone should remember this n is called index of x plus y whole power n n is called index ok in each term of the sum of the indices of x and a equal to the index a just like degree what they are saying degree so they add these two what you get n add these two what you are getting n that, that, that says 2 in each term of the index of x is the difference of n and r of ncr ok rhs is called the expanded value of lhs this one this one this one is called extended form of x plus y whole power n ok the expansion containing n plus 1 terms ok here clearly n is natural number on here that is sorry n is natural number that is case 1 we are in case 1 only yeah general term is tr plus 1 is equal to ncr into x power n minus 1 into in our uh, expansion y power r here a power r again that is not a big issue should remember in any term sum of the powers of x and a is equal to n ok nc0 nc1 nc2 ncn are called binomial coefficients these 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 are called binomial coefficients binomial coefficients ok students yeah next thing is the value of ncr into a power uh, r is called coefficient of x power n minus r so what what is called this is called this with this called coefficient of x power n minus r ok so listen students x plus y for example whole power phi you want by using this formula what i can write x power phi phi c 0 into x power phi plus phi c 1 into x power 4 y plus phi c 2 into x cube y square plus phi c 3 into x square y cube plus phi c 4 into x y power 4 plus phi c 5 into y power 5 just what are here these are the binomial coefficients ok students so simplified form I, I want right observe all of you what happened on here actually x power 5 will get here phi c 1 phi 1 5 into x power 4 into y 1 phi c 2 10 only 10 into x cube y square plus phi c 3 and phi c 2 both are same 10 into x square y cube plus phi c 4 or phi c 1 both are same 5 into x into y power 4 plus 1 into y power 5 so binomial coefficient here 1 here 1 next here 5 here 5 here 10 here 10 ok that also another important observation so students here the binomial coefficients nc0 nc1 nc2 so on are denoted by actually in, in, in short notation c naught c1 c2 so on and c naught stand for nc0 c1 stand for nc1 c2 stand for nc2 cn stand for ncn cr stand for ncr like that so important notations ok next thing is x plus y whole power n r y plus x whole power n r both same both are same both are same ok expansions are same but their r the terms are not same there are r plus 1 terms are not same but expansions are same so what is even though x plus y whole power n equal to a plus x power n in general term uh, the, the general terms are not equal that, that obviously you can say ok hmm. <coughs> so students uh, very 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 important uh, uh, note na, na, what which one yeah this is this is very 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 important in the expansion of x plus a whole power n t r plus 1 th from the beginning this term actually from the beginning become the n plus 1 minus r th term from the ending that should observe none that should observe none what the meaning of that t r plus 1 and t what is that n plus 1 minus r r in other words t uh, n minus r plus 1 I can write so uh, sometimes they will ask find the uh, fifth term from the ending like that 
what 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 is saying that here clearly you can uh, observe uh, uh, from this expansion that not big issue okay so what is saying that in the expansion of express y whole power n uh, t r plus 1 the term from the beginning is same as r plus 1 minus r, uh, n plus 1 minus r the term from the ending students one example problem find the sixth term of x square plus 2 by x whole power some 14 is given sixth term you want okay should how to find out I, I will explain so actually in the uh, previous expansion this is acting just like x and anna. this is acting just like y plus simply there that is not big issue okay so what what should do first of all you we need to write the formula general term of x plus y whole power n okay is T R plus 1 equal to N C R into X power N minus R into Y power R. So, what do you want here? Sixth term. Sixth term equal to means T 6 equal to T 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1. What are the meaning of here? R is 5, N is 14, X means X square, Y means 2 by X, just like substitutions what i can say nana n 14 cr 5 into x means x square whole power n means 14 minus uh, 5 into y means 2 by x i can write 2 by x r means 5 now we need to simplify what we will get that is the sixth term of that expansion okay 14 c 5 into x power 14 minus 5 means 9 9 to the 18 into 2 power 5 by x power 5 or in other words what i can say 14 c 5 into 2 power 5 into x power 13 this is the yeah sixth term sixth term of this expansion okay i hope you people understood next thing very 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 important note how to expand x minus y whole power n just i explain how to expand x plus y whole power n simple nana do one thing this can be written as x plus minus y whole power n i can write what i can say n c 0 into x power n plus n c 1 into x power n minus 1 into minus y plus n c 2 into x power n minus 2 into minus y square plus so on plus n c r into x power n minus r into y power r plus so on plus n c n into y power n ok now i want to write now you people should remember this x minus y whole power n can be written as n c 0 into x power n c minus 2 plus minus n c 1 into x power n minus 1 into y here minus y square plus only n c 2 into x power n minus 2 into y square plus so on plus minus 1 power r into n c r into x power n minus r into y power r plus so on plus minus 1 power n into n c n into y power n okay you should remember like this okay this is the expansion of x minus y whole power n again provided n is a natural number okay students so again i want write uh, i want write i want conclude nana x minus y whole power n directly how to write so this is n c 0 into x power n plus or minus alternately you will get minus n c 1 into x power n minus 1 into y plus n c 2 into x power n minus 2 into y square minus n c 3 into x power n minus 3 into y cube 
plus 1 plus 1 plus minus 1 power r into ncr into x power n minus r into y power r plus 1 plus minus 1 power n into ncn into y power n. So, this is the expansion of x minus y whole power n student. Here, uh, this is called general term of this expansion. General term. So, in bracket tr plus 1 equal to minus 1 power n into ncr into x power n minus r into y power r. Or in other words, I can say that x minus y whole power n is nothing but sigma minus 1 power r into n c r into x power n minus r into y power r where r is taken as 0 to n. So, this is okay. Okay, gents. So, I want to complete one more example problem. I want to find the yeah, sixth term of this expansion minus is there that should take care of that. Okay. Now T R plus 1 directly I want right T R plus 1 equal to minus 1 power uh, R into N C R into X power N minus R into Y power R. You want to use this formula, you want this notation instead of uh, Y, what should write down only 2 by 3 X. Don't write again minus here do not write again minus here. already you mentioned no minus 1 power r that is why no need to write here you want to write instead of y minus 2 by x no need to write this minus 1 power r okay that should take care so t 5 plus 1 equal to minus 1 power 5 into 8 c 5 into x means 3 x 3 x into 8 minus 5 into y means only 2 by 3 x na na. 2 by 3 x whole power r r means 5 so, this is minus 1 power minus, so 8 c 5 as it is into 3 power 3 into x power 3 into 2 power 5 by 3 power 5 into 1 by x power 5. So, finally, I want to conclude that minus 8 c 5 into uh, 2 power 5 by 3 cube, I think, 3 square, I think, okay. So, into 1 by x square. So, this is the sixth term of this expansion in this way you can find out.